Hey everyone, it's me, Casey. Um, I've already started off by saying, um, in today's video, it's a very short, but to me, it is very motivational. It weren't planned, like I weren't planning on doing this, but that's usually how I do things. I don't plan on doing stuff, it just happens. I really wanted to give my floors in my kitchen and little dining room area or eating kitchen a really good deep clean, like a scrub mop deep clean move stuff out clean from under it and this was the best way i knew how well basically it's the only way how <laughs> so i took everything out of there swept the kitchen as you can tell it is a hot mess but i was wanting to think focus i was wanting to focus just on the flooring mainly and um i mean i did clean up the kitchen as well i didn't leave it a hot mess but if you're new here, my name is Casey, and I am a stay-at-home stay mom of two children, ages two and four. And we do mobile home living. We, I basically do a lot of cleaning, um, mental health chatting, and just overall just motherhood type of stuff. And I'm trying to get on a set schedule, but I've not really been, like, made a set schedule yet life sometimes can get chaotic <laughs> but here i am i'm just using the o o cedar spin mop and honestly guys i love it i have two mop heads i have one that's strictly for flooring and then i have another mop head that i use for walls baseboard crown molding because hey you can use it for honestly anything and that's what i use mine for flooring and then the walls baseboard and crown molding but here I'm just scrubbing the floor because it honestly needs a good scrubbing. And I know that if you notice in the background, there is like marker stains everywhere. I ran out of, I have just like a little bit of awesome left. So I need to get me some more of that so I can spray on there and get it off. But I noticed that the bottom half of the eating kitchen part is not painted. Like it's sheetrock. But it's not painted. Like, they never even painted it. So, I need to go and get me some paint. That way, I can go through and paint it. Because when I sprayed some cleaner onto the wall. Because the top half of my wall, the gray part, it is clean. Like, it is painted. So, I can honestly just wipe it off with a rag and the marker comes right off. Because the markers that I bought are the ones that are, like, washable. So, when I went to spray the bottom half, the white part, it just smeared. And that's when I noticed that it was not painted at all. So now I need to get me some paint and have a paint session <laughs> where I just go through and paint the whole bottom half of the eating kitchen. I honestly, I have just stuff to do it. I just haven't done it. But I want to go through room by room and do touch-ups with, um, I know I'm going to say this all wrong, so do not judge me. But I think it's caulking. I just want to go through and caulk, caulking. <laughs> All the places that really need it, um, that was basically like half done when they built the house. Um, so I want to go through, do all that, touch up on paint spots. I'm supposed to be getting the shampoo from my sister. She has a floor shampoo for carpet, so I want to get that from her and shampoo the carpet. Just basically give each room a whole new just um, deep clean. That's basically all it is. So, hopefully in the upcoming videos, you will see that happen. <laughs> I can't tell you when because I'm not one that's always on a schedule. But next, we move on to the laundry because, of course, in the middle of cleaning, you have to do laundry. That's something that I've started doing because, y'all, listen, I used to be really bad at laundry, and I still am. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm all caught up because I'm not, but I can say this. I used to, when I would clean, I would not focus on laundry. I would let that be like a whole separate cleaning thing. But then my mom was like, in the middle of cleaning, switch out laundry. Like, you can get caught up that way. And, y'all, that's what I've been doing. And it has honestly helped me out tremendously by, in the middle of cleaning, if I hear my dryer go off, I go take that out, put whatever's in the washer in the dryer, and then just keep doing it like that. And it has helped a lot. So, in case you struggle with laundry like me, that's just a little idea that might can help you. 
But next we move on to the, I know I'm talking a lot in this video and I'm sorry, but I just want to give y'all a little, I haven't talked to y'all in a while, it seems like. So I just want to talk. <laughs> Listen, I don't talk to adults more a lot. I'm mostly, it's just me and my kids and then my husband, but sometimes he gets home late because his job, you don't know what time he gets off. So most of the time during the day, I just talk, I just have my kids. So when I get on here and I just start talking, Y'all just go with it. <laughs> just go with it and talk back to me, okay? Um, but I just wanted to straighten up this. I actually cleaned, or this counter, I cleaned out all four of the drawers that are in the island. And, but, listen, they were all junk drawers. Let's be honest, okay? They were all junk drawers. So, I cleaned them all out and put them in bins. That way, I knew what bin would go to each room. And then, later on, Hopefully this week, I can focus on a room at a time. But I just wanted to put the stuff in the bins, put the bins or the containers with the stuff in it, in each room that it belongs to, and then I'll focus on that later on. And as y'all can tell, this playroom is a whole another video in itself. <laughs> so all of my homeschool stuff is in my closet, and as you can tell, it is a hot mess. But that's where I can put it right now. I want to get me a big, like, bookcase to be able to organize and all my homeschool stuff with it. I just haven't gotten one. I just haven't gotten. I just haven't went and picked up one yet. So, yeah. If you're like, wow. Yeah, my closet's a hot mess. <laughs> I thought this mop water would probably have been way dirtier than it what it was. Because, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do not mop. I might mop once a week. Um, the kitchen area. Now, the new flooring that we just put down, the laminate, I do mop that multiple times a week. But I don't, like, scrub it because with laminate, you can't put a lot of water on it. Unless it's, like, the waterproof laminate. Laminate and in the we didn't get waterproof for the living area. So, you can't put, like, a lot of water on it. But this here is my, I used to sell Scentsy and I still have some of the stuff left over from when I sold it and I would buy stuff for myself because I would like it. So I'm just switching this over because the candle is on the stove and I've moved this to the other side of the kitchen just to try and break up so you didn't have two smelling good things, two good smelling things directly beside each other. But I'm just giving my kitchen a basic wipe down because I did do my flooring and I know I did my flooring then I wiped my kitchen counters off which probably made absolutely no sense but it is what it is and it's just the way my brain worked that day <laughs> and another thing when I opened my microwave and I seen that it was that dirty from some rice I had cooked in it when our stove messed up I had cooked rice in it and I honestly it was it was such a busy and chaotic night that I didn't even notice that the microwave was that filthy. So, I wanted to deep clean the microwave, get it all wiped out, and get it all clean because I cannot stand a dirty microwave. So, when I opened it up and I seen it, I was like, holy cow, this is ridiculous and this is not like me. <laughs> so, I just wanted to give it a good deep clean. And, y'all, it was underneath because you're like underneath your microwave. Well, especially for mine, my stove's down there. So, I didn't realize that it was that dirty underneath it like I haven't wiped it down in a long time so that's gonna be on my checklist maybe once a week wiped underneath my microwave from all the grease and just from cooking in general So this will be the end of today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for being here and being so supportive um, of my channel and of my just random videos. <laughs> I need to get on a very, like a really good schedule, but realistically with my life, I'm not on a schedule at all. I just wake up and do what I feel like doing. <laughs> and <laughs> She's a hot mess. <laughs> um, but I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to thank you guys for watching the video and just being so supportive of my channel and of me. 
it truly means a lot. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week. I did Love y'all. Say bye-bye. Say bye. <laughs>